Welcome to the how-to WordPress video tutorial for installing the WordPress CMS on your server. Let's look at this first in terms of steps. It's a very simple process. WordPress really does this right. The first thing you need to do is obtain the installation files. After you've done that, you need to go to your hosting installation or to your development server and create a database for the installer to use. Once that's in place, simply move the installation files to the server, and then once they're on the server, you're ready to go. All you need to do next is run the installer. Next, we're going to take you through this step-by-step -step on a development server. The first step in the process is obtaining the installation files that you'll need to set up the WordPress CMS on your server. To do this, go to wordpress.org. Notice that's not .com, that's the hosted blogging service, rather it's .org, which is the home of the open source CMS project. You always want to go to the original official sites to download the installer files. Do not take the installer from a third party website due to the potential security risk that involves. Once you've landed on wordpress.org, look for the download WordPress button and click that. This will take you to the Downloads page, and here you can select the type of file archive you'd like to grab. Note that you can grab either the tarball or you can grab a zip file. In both cases, we're talking about a zipped up archive of all the necessary installation files. Simply click the button, then when the system prompts you for the download, save the file in a location you can remember. In my case, I've already downloaded it. It's sitting on my desktop, so I'm ready to move on to the second step, which is creating the database. Now for this demo, I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress on a development server. And that means, in my case, I'm going to use MAMP because I'm running a Mac and I like the MAMP situation. You can use WAMP, you can use XAMPP, you can use Windows, you can use Linux, whatever makes you happy is fine. But I'm going to show you MAMP, the steps are largely the same. Once you've popped open the MAMP window, click Start Servers. The status windows up here will show you as the servers start, and then it will roll over to the MAMP Start page. From here, go to the Tools and select PHP My Admin. This is what you're going to use to create the database that the WordPress installer needs. Once you're here, click on the Databases tab. Give your database an easy name. I'm going to call this one WordPress Demo. Click Create, and the system has created the database for you. Next, the third step. We have to get the installer files onto the server. Now, in my case, I'm using my local development server, so that means I need to get the installer files into the MAMP htdocs directory. Now, I had saved this archive already on my desktop, so I'm going to open a new finder window. I'm going to go to the desktop, and you'll see here are the WordPress installer zip files. I'm going to go ahead and extract that installer, and I'm going to name the resulting folder WordPress Demo. This is going to be the name that I use to access the site. And now I'm simply going to drag that folder into the MAMP htdocs folder. And right there it is. So now we have accomplished the third step, getting the installation files onto the server. Now comes the really super simple part, which is we simply need to run the installer. Now with MAMP, we do this by going back to our browser, changing the URL to point to the directory name we just created, WordPress demo, hit return, and this will trigger the installer to begin the process. Now you are going to need certain pieces of information as we go, and I'll step you through that. I'm going to go ahead and use English, the default language setting. It's going to prompt us at this point in time and say, hey, you're going to need a few things. You'll need the database name, the database username, the database password, the host, and if you want to change the table prefix, you can do that as well. They're also going to need to create a configuration file. WordPress will help us do that. Simply click, click the Let's Go button. Here's where we can set the information. What was our database called? It was called WordPress Demo. I'm on MAMP, which means I'm using my default username and password. These may vary on your system. My database host is localhost. My table prefix, I'm just going to use the default value. That's fine. If you want added security, you can change this. Click the Submit button. The system checks to see if the information is correct. If it is, it confirms and says we're ready to go, so click Run the Install. Now, you need to give your site a name. This is our WordPress demo site. 
the username it's prompting you for is going to be the administration user. I'm going to put in a very simple unsecure username because it's on my development server and I don't want to have to type a whole bunch of stuff. Enter the password twice. Drop in an email address that the system can use for notifications. Click install WordPress. Now obviously if I was installing this on a live server or shared web hosting situation, I would want to put in a more secure username and password. But notice how simple this is. That's it. We're done. We've been successful. WordPress is installed. It's ready to go. If you want to log into the new system and see that it's there, sure, great. Let's go ahead and do that. Click log in. It'll roll us over to the login screen. I'm going to go ahead and click this button that says log in. It already had my username and password. And Shazam, there we are. We're inside the WordPress administration console. It's genuinely that simple. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it helps you with your WordPress installation. As you can see, it's a very simple process. There's really nothing to be afraid of. Jump in and do it. It's easy stuff. If you want to learn more about WordPress, including how to set up sites, how to customize sites to make them your own, and how to maintain the site effectively, join the How To WordPress community at http howto-wordpress.net. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope we see you there.